Hello, my name is Simon Hanbury. I've got stall 110, Ali Bongo. We've been on the stall about five years in total. I started on Bury St Edmunds Market uh, doing sort of two days a week and uh, got the opportunity to, to have a stall on Norwich Market full time and uh, things have gone from there really. And we sell a lot of ethnic crafts, things for the home, incense, oil burners, wind chimes, carvings, throws. We also sell a lot of smoking paraphernalia, body jewellery and youth culture based stuff. Our customers typically would be 18 to 30, so a massive student base, but we do have customers that are in their early teens and we do have customers that are in their late 60s. The smoking paraphernalia is extremely popular and also a lot of the stuff that students would uh, fill their digs with. Because most of our customers don't get up till sort of quite late, we don't have to get in till sort of quarter to ten. We get our products from all over the place, but they traditionally come from the Far East. India, Thailand, Bali, a lot of the carving stuff comes from that part of the world. Um, but more and more, unfortunately, <laughs> are coming from China, because China are in on everything. But we do try to get stuff locally as well, if that's available to us. We don't trade directly with Bali, we trade with places like Holland. We do buy from Germany as well, but in the future, when my children are grown up, I'm hoping to go travelling and buy stock for the shop. People perceive markets as a place where you're going to get something for less than it costs. Um, they don't actually sometimes realise that it's like running any other business. One of the great things about Norwich Market is the fact that it's so historic and it's been there for so long and it's right in the town centre. A lot of city markets are on the outskirts, whereas Norwich is quite lucky to have a very, very, very good position.